Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, we will discuss the working principle of Benson Boiler. In previous lecture, we will discuss the working principle of La Mount Boiler. These both are the high pressure boiler. The main difficulty experienced in the La Mount Boiler is the formation and attachment of bubbles on the inner surface of heating tubes. The attached bubbles to the inner surface of uh, heating tubes reduces the heat flow and uh, steam generation as it offers high thermal resistance than water film. Benson in 1922 argued that if the boiler pressure was raised to critical pressure, as we know that critical pressure is 225 bar. So at this pressure, the steam and water have the same density and therefore the danger of bubble formation can be easily eliminated. The technical development at that time did not allow to build turbine for such a high pressure. The first high pressure boiler was put into operation in 1927 by Siemens in West Germany the well-known pioneer in the field of steam power machines. The arrangement of the boiler component is shown in figure. The water is first passed through the economizer. As we know that what is the function of economizer? Economizer is a accessories. Okay. So whenever we use uh, economizer at that time, uh, we can save the fuel and we can uh, increase the performance of the boiler. So in the coil of the economizer, uh, the flue gases okay uh, it will pass through the economizer coil before entering into the chimney so some of the energy or we can say some amount of energy is available in the flue gases and this energy is utilized to transfer the heat between the water and flue gases through the coil of the economizer and here we can increase the temperature of water and this hot water is supplied to the e operator so less amount of uh, fuel or we can say less heat energy is required because here we supply the hot water to the e operator so it is accessories it will improve the performance of the boiler then after uh, it will pass through the radiant e operator here you can see that first of all feed water from the feed pump uh, and this speed pump it is connected uh, with the hot well as we know that hot well means it is the outlet of the condenser it will pass through the economizer then after it will pass through the radiant e operator okay here you can see that this is the flow of water okay it will pass through the economizer then after it will pass through the radiant e operator as shown in figure where majority of the water is converted into steam the remaining water is evaporated in the final evaporator absorbing the heat from the hot gases by convection. The saturated high pressure steam at 225 bar is further passed through the superheater as shown in figure. Here you can see that okay, uh, from the feed pump, uh, feed water pass through the economizer then it will pass through the radiant evaporator in radiant evaporator. A maximum amount of water is converted into steam the remaining uh, water it is uh, converted into steam through the convective e operator through the convection and finally it will pass through the superheater as we know that superheater we have already discussed in my previous lecture if you want to clear your fundamental what is the function of superheater it will convert the steam into superheated steam and in superheated uh, steam it behaves like a gas or we can say there is no any moisture content in the steam so we can uh, increase the life of the component of the turbine and this superheater it is connected with the prime mover or we can say turbine major difficulty of uh, salt deposition was uh, experienced in the transformation zone where uh, all remaining water converted into steam to avoid this difficulty the boiler or we can say final e operator okay here we are using e operator is normally flash out after every 4000 working hours to remove the salt 
The development of Benson boiler was very slow initially up to 1934. After realization of its important its advantages, several boilers were built and the uh, post-war era gave special impacts to its development. Now it has become customary in Germany to install Benson boiler in power stations. Boiler having as high as a 650 degree Celsius temperature of steam had been put in service. The maximum working pressure obtained so far from commercial Benson boiler is 500 bar. The Benson boiler of 150 tons per hour generally capacity are in use. Now what are the advantages of the Benson boiler? As there are no drum. The total weight of the Benson boiler is 20% less than the other boilers. This also reduces the cost of the boiler. Okay, in La Mount boiler we are using drum, but in Benson boiler here we are not using drum. So the overall weight of the Benson boiler is 20% less than the other boilers or we can say La Mount boiler. Okay, so it will reduce the cost of the boiler. The second advantage of Benson boiler is natural circulation boiler require expansion joints, but there are not required for Benson boiler as the pipes are welded. The erection of Benson boilers is easier and quicker as all the parts are welded at the site and workshop job of a tube expansion is altogether avoided. The third advantage, the transfer of boiler parts are easy because uh, here we are not using drum. Okay, and uh, majority of the parts are carried out to the site without pre-assembly. The fourth advantage, the Benson boiler can be erected in a comparatively smaller floor area. The space problem does not control the size of the Benson boiler use. The another advantage of the Benson boiler, the furnace walls of the boiler can be more efficiently protected by using smaller diameter and close pitch tubes. Six advantage, the superheater in the Benson boiler is an integral part of the four circulation system. Therefore, no special starting arrangement is required for superheater in Benson boiler. Another advantage, the Benson boiler can be started very quickly because of welded joints. Okay, we can easily start the boiler as we are, as we have discussed here, we are not using drum and we are using welded tubes. Another advantage of Benson boiler, the Benson boiler can be operated uh, most economically by varying the temperature and pressure at partial loads and overloads. The desired temperature can also be maintained constant at any pressure. Sudden fall of demand creates circulation problem due to the bubble formation in the natural circulation boiler which never occur in Benson boiler. The flow down losses of Benson boiler are hardly 4% of natural circulation boiler of same capacity. The last point, the explosive hazards are not at all as it consists of only tubes of small diameter and uh, has very little storage capacity compared to drum type boiler. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends.